Give us today our daily bread. O mai ki a mato ayane he taro mamato moteneira. Welcome to Thursday morning prayer from the Lady Chapel. I hope that you are having a good week so far and that this is the start of a really blessed day for you. None of us lives and none of us dies for ourselves alone. Living or dying, we belong to the Lord. Jesus, you are the bread of life. Those who come to you will never be hungry. Those who believe in you will never thirst. You are the living bread from heaven. The bread you give is your own flesh and you give it for the life of the world. All who eat your flesh and drink your blood live in you and you in them. For your flesh is the food we need. Your blood is our salvation. All who eat your flesh and drink your blood have eternal life. Look to Jesus in the wilderness, breaking bread and feeding the multitude. Etefano, sparse sowing, meagre reaping. But if we are generous, bountiful will be the harvest. So let us give what we can, not with regret, nor from a sense of duty. God loves a cheerful giver. And when we help others, we will not just meet their needs, but we will unleash a flood of gratitude to God. Many will give glory to God for our loyalty to the gospel and for our generosity. God loves a cheerful giver. Our reading continues from the second letter to the Corinthians. And we are going to read from chapter 8, verse 16 onwards. But thanks to be to God, who put in the heart of Titus the same eagerness for you that I myself have. For he not only accepted our appeal, but since he is more eager than ever, he is going to you of his own accord. With him we are sending the brother who is famous among all the churches for his proclaiming the good news. And not only that, but he has also been appointed by the churches to travel with us while we are administering this generous undertaking for the glory of the Lord himself and to show our good will. We intend that no one should blame us about this generous gift that we are administering. For we intend to do what is right, not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of others. And with them we are sending our brother whom we have often tested and found eager in many matters, but who is now more eager than ever because of his great confidence in you. As for Titus, he is my partner and co-worker in your service. As for our brothers, they are messengers of the churches, the glory of Christ. Therefore, openly before the churches, show them the proof of your love and of our reason for boasting about you. Now, it is not necessary for me to write you about the ministry to the saints. For I know your eagerness, which is the subject of my boasting about you, to the people of Macedonia, saying that Achaia has been ready since last year and your zeal has stirred up most of them. But I am sending the brothers in order that our boasting about you may not prove to have been empty in this case, so that you may be ready, as I said you would be. Otherwise, if some Macedonians come with me and find that you are not ready, we would be humiliated to say nothing of you in this undertaking. So I thought it necessary to urge that the brothers to go ahead of you and arrange in advance for this bountiful gift that you have promised so that it may be ready as a voluntary gift and not as an extortion. Praise be to God for his word. Let us enter a time of prayer. Our Father, give us today our daily bread. Eto mato matua, homae kia mato ayane, 
he taro mamato mutenera. God of seed and growth and harvest, creator of need, creator of satisfaction, give us, we pray, our daily bread, sufficient and assured for all. Give us also, we pray, the bread of life, and we shall have a care to feed the hungry and to seek for peace and justice in the world. Help us then to remember and to know that you are our life today and every day. You are the food we need now and forever. Christ is the living water, cleansing, refreshing, making all things new. Christ is the living bread, food for the hungry, strength for the pilgrim and the labourer. So now we offer our thanks for the beauty of these islands, for the wild places and the bush, for the mountains, the coast and the sea. We offer thanks and praise to God for this good land, for its trees and pastures, for its plentiful crops and the skills we have learned to grow them. Our thanks for Marae and the cities we have built, for science and discoveries, for our life together, for Aotearoa, New Zealand. God, give us work till our life shall end and life till our work is done. Look kindly on our world, our God, as we suffer and struggle with one another. Look kindly on your church, driven by the same necessity, and may the light we have seen in Jesus illuminate and brighten all the world. Amen. May your day be very blessed. Thank you for joining me this morning. And I wish God's love to be showered on you. Amen.